Hi everyone, this is Anna. Welcome to QACA. This is the fourth video and hope you enjoy it. The question I'm going to talk about today is if x, y, z are real numbers and x plus y plus z is 5, x, y plus y, z plus z, x is 3, find the maximum and minimum value for z. There are two ways to solve this question and today I'm going to present you the first way. We know that x plus y plus z is 5. So if we square both sides, we can easily get that x plus y plus z whole thing, whole thing squared is 25. If we foil the left side, oops, if we foil the left side, we can have x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2xz is 25. We also know that xy plus yz plus xz is 3, which means that 2xy plus 2yz plus 2xz is 6. If we use 25 minus 6, we can have that x squared plus y squared plus z squared is 19. Now comes the creative part. If we set a function ft equals to t minus, t minus x squared plus t minus y squared, we can have that ft is bigger or equal to 0. Bigger or equal to 0. If we FOIL this part, we can have that 2 t squared minus 2 t times x plus y plus x squared plus y squared is bigger or equal to 0. We know that x plus y is 5 minus y and x squared plus y squared is 19 minus x z squared. We can substitute x plus y and x squared plus y squared which give us the function ft equals to 2t squared minus 2t times 5 minus z plus 19 minus z squared bigger or equal to 0. If you look at a graph, this is a quadratic function. If it wants to be bigger or equal to 0, it has to have no or 1x coordinates, which means that the delta must be equal or smaller than 0. The delta is b squared minus 4ac, which is 4 times 5 minus z squared minus 8 times 19 minus z squared is smaller or equal to 0. If we solve this equation, we get z is bigger or equal to negative 1, or z is small, and z is smaller than 3 over 13. Thank you for listening. Please come back next week to see the second way to solve this question. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day!